question. All right. Oh, Tiger, finally your question. Jonathan, do you think I should text a man I've been with for seven years? He pays my whole life in provider man. I called him a loser in the morning because he didn't want to give me my allowance. How would you feel if he called you a loser? How would that feel? Of course, you should want to apologize. And to apologize, first off, let me get the book. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'm going to get the book uh, Chatting or Cheating. This is written by my dear friend, Dr. Sherry Myers, actually. Um, she was one of the couples at the workshop. I want to go to Apology. Where is Apology? How to Give an Apology. I want to read this to you all because this is critically important. If you're going to apologize, bump, 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 apology, apology. Ah, where's apology? Here we go, page 103 and uh, 101 and 103. Bear with me, everyone. The four R's to an apology. I'm going to read them to you. Recognize and acknowledge the pain you have caused. Express regret and remorse about what you've done and the pain it caused. Take responsibility for your actions and express your desire to reconcile, remedy, and make restitution. Those are the four R's to an apology. That would be my recommendation to you uh, based on what you shared. I think it's not cool to call someone a loser. Um, if uh, they've been a provider in your life. Um, and so that would be my recommendation. Oh, Tiger now says he ignored you for three weeks. Well, that sucks. Uh, and you said, thank you for reading us. To, you're very welcome. Um, listen, you, you had an opportunity to send a heartfelt message of, 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 of how you felt over his dismissal for you. By calling him a loser, you matched his energy. I would then now lead by example and uh, give some sort of apology to open the door uh, to having a conversation. That's my invitation. But someone who disappears for three weeks, oftentimes they're just not that into you. Enough to be a respectful human being in relationship. They're not into you enough to treat you with respect as another human being. At least that's my perception. Debbie says that's exactly how it should be, respectful. Exactly, thank you. 